well. I did it. I survived my first ever night shift in the NICU and you guys, it was phenomenal. It was so much fun. Um, I did not think I was going to like it as much as I did. Granted, I don't really feel like I did a ton and it was like funny because the tech that was working with me kept telling me like, oh, you know, this is like a really busy night. Like, I'm so sorry. And I'm like, uh, you don't have to be sorry. I was like, this is like not busy to me at all which is not a bad thing. Obviously, you know, we want the patients to be stable and healthy, but it was super cute. I did a discharge. Um, and then that was actually kind of sad because the baby that we were discharging was actually, a, um, like child services came for the baby because m the birth mom was addicted to drugs, which is sad, but it definitely happens. So that was interesting to see and then I fed a lot of babies um, It was really cool because I am super curious. So I'm always like wandering around. So I wandered to the other side of the NICU which is like where I was working because there are two sides and um, They were performing like a procedure in what they call this like focused area I am so irritated right now. Like, I don't know why the GPS just took me this way. Well, it took me the wrong way and then I ended it because I was like, I was literally hitting every single red light and I'm like, I just, I have been up for over 24 hours. I might be running on three Celsius and two coffees, but like, I'm tired. I'm just a girl. Good morning. I'm awake and it's Tuesday. Fit check. Anyway, I just woke up not too long ago from my little nap. I didn't want to sleep all day today because I want to be able to sleep tonight. And I honestly don't think it's going to be that bad. Like this schedule, I actually think it's going to work out really nice for me. I got so much done last night and I was like teching. I wasn't even doing um, what they call like basically where you're like at the desk, at the front of the unit, I'm gonna be doing that too, where you're, you know, letting people in, checking people in, helping with discharges, things like that. So yeah, last night was really good. Sorry, I'm yawning. I'm really like not that tired though. So we have a pretty big storm that's supposed to like roll in today. So I am gonna start cleaning up and doing some stuff around the house. I'm not really planning on going anywhere. I need to go to the grocery store, which I kind of want to do sooner than later because I know the weather is only going to get worse. So I'm probably going to throw on some pants um, and just run out to the store really quick and get that shopping out of the way. And then I'm going to um, come back and just clean up the apartment because when two people come back from vacation and then work seven days, um, it gets a little bit messy. So I'm gonna just clean up and make everything super tidy and fun and clean and I'm excited. And then of course, you know, I'll bring you guys with me. I'm not doing any schoolwork because I have lecture and lab like all day tomorrow and then I have all night and I'm probably gonna do work at, I'm probably gonna do homework um, tomorrow night. So it's good. And then that's it, you guys like, after I make it through tomorrow, school, and then my night shift, I'm chilling. And the best part is, like, I have way more time, it feels, because I don't have to spend my free time that I'm not at work doing stuff for school. Because it's, like, last night I probably spent three and a half hours doing stuff for school. And I probably could have spent more if I didn't want to go on TikTok. So it's just, like, I could never do that at the restaurant, which is really, really nice. So... It was triple points at Starbucks today, so I got a grande shaken espresso. So whenever I am doing like a deep clean, I always like to start in the kitchen and kind of get things taken out. We're supposed to have really terrible weather today, so. Um, but since what I actually really truly like to start with is um, laundry get that going so that, you know, 
you can do other stuff. Good morning, you guys, and happy Thursday. The most confusing thing about talking the most confusing thing about working night shift is knowing what day it is so it is I was about to say Saturday it's Thursday so I worked Wednesday night after class just like the other day on Monday and I just got off kind of late I ended up like it's always like you do nothing and then you know you're just kind of waiting for the next person to come in and relieve you so that's the vibe I'm a lot more tired today but I think it's because I didn't pack like a meal and I had a meal on Monday and I also think it's because I had an extra Celsius on Monday and I timed things out a little bit different and I was also moving around today I was more doing like administration work at the desk so it was a lot more sitting than last time um, when you're going like 20 over the speed limit and it's like not fast enough for some people anyway so i'm going home i cleaned the entire house on monday so that i did not have to do it today and i got a lot done today so i'll show you guys kind of all the stuff that i worked on after i go to sleep and wake up because i'm very exhausted and then i am chilling today i'm not doing anything because like i said my busy day was on monday so i'm relaxing for the rest of today and I don't care what anyone has to say about it. That's just what the vibe is. So anyway, I'll update you guys on my shift a little bit later. But for now, I am going to go home and get some very well-deserved and earned sleep. A look. Honestly, a look. I feel like such a bum because it's like 2 o'clock. But I worked all night. I went to school. I'm just a girl. I'm just a night shift girl. I literally come home from night shift and shower and like pass out. So yes, I have to run a few errands today, but I'm honestly just savoring the day. I'm probably gonna work out like every day this weekend, so I'm not gonna work out today. I'm gonna just chill. I'm gonna just treat myself and have a nice day to myself and get some things done and go to the store and pick some stuff up. So I'm gonna get ready for the day. And yeah, then I'll tell you guys all about my night. I know I'm terrible, but welcome back to the vlog. I literally told you guys I was gonna tell you how my shift went and then <laughs> I didn't, I went to sleep. Woke up and didn't pick up my camera for a couple of days, but that's only because I was spending the weekend with my partner who had off and that is very rare that that happens so yes but i'm getting ready for my next shift this is exciting because it is my shift in the cv icu i need to put you guys down somewhere so i can get things done let me get my let me get a prop we love a prop okay that's good Fit today is my figs with this tan long sleeve. I'm going for a little bit of like less in your face. So today I'm headed to the CVICU, which is super exciting because I have not been here. I've been on the NICU floor for like the last three shifts and I still have one more shift there and I will probably go back because I'm gonna have all of my orientation like mandatory shifts covered by the end of February. My schedule just came out and so, but I'm orienting all the way through March. So March is kind of, gonna just march and the second half of February I'm just gonna be going wherever they call me you know what I'm saying I need another sock I think the best thing about this job is that I have so much time to like work on school stuff and I would show you guys what I did but I just realized that I gave I gave my book to someone to borrow and all of my notes are in it so I can't really show you those right now but I will show you them at some point probably i'll show you on wednesday and wednesday i'm going to stay at school and study um because we have an exam next monday our first peds exam but i cannot explain to you like i'm not stressed out this quarter like i'm not and i think a huge part of it is because now i have so much time to study at work it's like not even funny so tonight 
I float between two types of shifts, like shifts where I'm teching and shifts where I'm working at like the desk. On this unit, I won't have any desks. I'll never be on the desk, I'll only be teching. So that's exciting. It'll fill out part of my orientation packet today. And right now I am cooking some dinner. Um, and I didn't eat lunch, so I'm a little bit nervous. I have a feeling I'm gonna be very hungry today, but that's okay. So I'm packing a snack. My new motto for working nights, like my new schedule, I'll like talk to you guys. I kind of want to film like a whole video where I sit down and talk about like working night shift and what that's been like in that transition. Just because I feel like I was really scared of night shift, but honestly, like it's not bad. And I don't know if that's just because like I'm a psychotic person and just like, I don't know, I just operate and function very well on like little to no sleep, but we'll see. I'm only like three, I'm only two weeks in. So we will see how these next couple of weeks pan out. I'm changing my badge reel today to this one. It says spread kindness, not germs. I was gonna wear one that had a heart on it and it said, can you not? You know, because I'm gonna be in the ICU, the CV ICU, which is like hearts. But I was like, mm, that might be that might be frowned upon. So I'm cooking my cooking my din din. Yep. are burnt how they burn that's crazy because it's obviously too stinking hot and now we're gonna just pack the rest of my lunch i know i'm talking very quickly but that's only because i'm trying to get all this done in the next 15 minutes because i'm going early to work today because i'm gonna cross paths i'm gonna cross paths today with my lover um no i'm just kidding i'm going early to work though that is not getting out Ice packs. Yeah. So I usually eat dinner. I started eating dinner at like midnight, but now I just get my coffee at midnight. I go down, I take a little walk. I go and I get a coffee from downstairs because it's free before they close at 12. And then I eat at two. And that seems to work really well for me. I don't know why, but it just does. The snack situation goes crazy. A little bit of chocolate to get me through my shift. So next, um, I like a little chocolate. Tomorrow I'm going grocery shopping um, after I wake up in the morning and we're going to get some things done because it is, I'm going to go into like a pretty intense cut. So just take a little bit of these. To be honest, I never really even finish like my snacks. It's bad. I just pack them so that if I have them, like if I need to eat, I like have food. Um, but I never finish them because I honestly don't really get hungry. Next week, I'm going into a pretty intense cut. Or like this week for the next like six weeks, I'm gonna try and go and just eat. It's not easy, but I'll eat the same thing for breakfast and lunch every day. And then I usually like make dinner. Not all the time, but when I do make dinner, I tend to typically make the same thing, just chicken, a starch and slash carb, and then a vegetable and a salad. So that is really easy for me to like continuously track. I'll just change up the seasoning. I got this pack of Celsius like a day ago. This is like how much Celsius we drink in this house. It's insane. And I do a custom pack. So I do half Fantasy Vibe and then half Cola. Because if you know, you know. If you know, you know. So I'll have a Celsius. And then like I said, I'm having a coffee right now. I shake an espresso with vanilla sweet cream cold foam. And then I will get just a black coffee upstairs at midnight. And I will continue to do that because it's just black coffee. So it's easy to track. And honestly, whatever you got to do to stay up. You know what I'm saying?
suck at vlogging. I keep telling you guys I'm gonna like show you things and then I don't because I either go to sleep and then I'm super tired when I wake up and I'm still kind of adjusting to everything with nights, but it's Sunday. My very first exam is tomorrow. It's in Pete's. I'm not super stressed about it, but I definitely need to like study tonight. So I'm only supposed to work until four. My hope is that because I'm not one of the doubles that like I get out of there pretty quick um, and just kind of go in. I'm hoping I make like, you know, I picked up at the restaurant. So I'm hoping I make like a quick hundred or like hundred and fifty dollars and yeah then I can just chill for a bit so and then I'm gonna study once I get home and shower and I need to run to the store and just grab something for dinner because I didn't pull something out and I don't think it will defrost fast enough so I don't know what we're doing for dinner yet but I want to mix it up I feel like I've been eating the same thing over and over and over again so we'll see we'll see what we go with all right you guys so i just got home and showered i had to clean up the trash outside because animals got into it less than ideal and so now i am home and i'm going to get ready to study for my peds exam tomorrow so i'm going to do the whiteboard i'm going to pull it out and then pull up my study guide on my iPad and kind of do them back to back and then I went and I got stuff to make dinner and also lunch tomorrow and also dinner tomorrow so I will be cooking so I'm trying to study it's 4 36 and I need to start cooking probably around like 6 45 should be a good spot so that's like two hours of study time I'm gonna cram in and then I'll probably FaceTime my friend for a little bit tonight and then I'll also study tomorrow morning and I have a project I need to get done so I'm going to try to get the studying done first, like my first round of studying, and then I'm going to try and get my part of the project done. And yeah, so anyway, let's get to it and let's study. I'm going to get a water, I'm going to get a study snack, and then we're going to be on our way. So this is from last exam. I was also a little chilly, so I just threw on this Christmas top. So this is from Mental Health, so I'm just going to erase these notes because I'm not taking that class anymore. Some of it comes off much easier than others. You guys know I love this method of studying. I think it's super helpful. We're getting A's and my study snack is a mix of Cheez-Its and mini peanut butter M&Ms. Superior. So I will just pull up my study guide go in and then make sure I'm not missing anything and we're golden. The whiteboard method just wasn't giving you guys. I actually ended up just typing a new study guide and now I'm going to just sit and quiz myself, set a timer. I didn't print my study guide, so I'm gonna be doing it on my iPad, which I don't really like, but we've gotta make do with what we've got. So I'm gonna study for a little bit and then we'll cook dinner. I'm making pork chops with potatoes and um, broccoli and then lunch and dinner for tomorrow. So we are going to be very busy.